Hi, you reach Manny Sharpening Service and Repairs. This is the end cap of a uh, Oster 76. I have a lot of customers that uh, they have problems trying to put the switch on and they mix up the wires and they uh, short out the switch. So in this demonstration I'm going to show you how to properly install a Oster 76 single speed switch. I repeat, a single speed switch. Uh, Oster makes two types of switches. One is a single speed and the uh, other is a two speed switch which is uh, totally different from the switch alone. First of all, this is a single speed switch. You could tell by two wires. A two speed switch will have three wires and a resistor. Now when installing the the switch, first of all you have to install the cord, which is this right here. It's a two wire cord. Not a three wire, but a two wire only. You get the end cap, this part which is the end, you insert it inside, you insert the wire, electrical cord inside this end of the end cap. When you put it in, you turn it and slide it. You saw that? You turn it and slide it. You insert it like this and then you turn it and slide it. And that's the end of the the cord house is, the cord part is installed. Now you turn the, the end cap over, clear your wires to so the switch won't be in the way, and you install the switch, which is this one right here, with the two wires facing this part of the end cap. Excuse me, this part of the end cap. This wire here is lined up with a screw section. You get a good picture here. The screw section of this part right here. So you slide the switch down like this. Pull the end in from the end. Pull it from the bottom, not too hard, right here. Pull it and seat the switch down. You line up. You line up your terminal with that part right there where the screw goes in. And you install the white electrical wire from the cord overlap on the terminal of the switch, just like that. Okay? It's kind of tricky sometimes, but uh, anybody could do it it's not that hard you just pay attention to what wires go where you insert the screw push it down towards the hole where the screw goes in and you tighten it and you make sure that the two wires are, are, are split like this in the V shape and the reason for that is because uh, if you overlap them, you're putting too much pressure on the wire and it will break it will this wire will eventually break this wire to the switch So when you put it on You tighten it, but not too tight you snug because this is plastic and it will strip Now After you finish doing that you get your terminal, which is this one right here. This is a, a brass terminal. Get a better picture of this. Get, give you an idea how it looks. Okay. Sorry about that. You get this brass terminal. Get your end cap. 
and you're looking at it from the top from the top this goes on this side your black wire connects to here so you get your black wire put it as so bend it over you get your terminal I should have used a vise but I'm so used to putting these on so fast that it's uh, it's just nature habit you put it, you put it on like that put the, put the terminal like this with a screw on top insert it in the terminal like so line it up put put the screw in the terminal and you hold it and insert it and you line it up to the hole on the end cap you screw it down kind of firm and you line up the terminal like so you have to hold it with your fingers and you tighten it not over tighten it but tight now on the second one you have your other terminal. Now notice that the terminal end is facing this way. So that is going to connect to your terminals on the motor of the Oster 76 at the end of the, the clipper. Now you get your other terminal, line it up. Now this one works different. This one you put your terminal, your brass terminal first, and then you put your 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 wire, your t the terminal wire from the switch. Like so. Insert it in there. My fingers are kind of big, I'm trying to show you. And you line it up to the hole. And you put it on like that. Okay, and you line it up like so, and you tighten it. Don't over tighten it because you'll strip it. Now this is the way it should look when you when you put the switch and the cord together. And this is the proper way of putting it. Now when you when you're gonna insert this inside uh, on the Oster 76 itself, this uh, this guide pin here, a guide notch, it, you line this up to the Oster 76 notch itself. This notch right here to this notch on the 76, and you line it up like this, and you put it on and you have it installed it's it's sitting correctly and by knowing that it's correct turn it to the right to the left if it doesn't turn that means you install it correctly uh, when you finish assembling the Oster 76 switch don't forget to install the ring nut this is very important because this will hold the switch down in place and we'll have full contact with the uh, clipper itself on the terminals and if you don't have this on there and you leave it off the vibration the vibration of the clipper will eventually break the terminal on the electrical wires or the switch thank you and this is Manny sharpening and service in Los Angeles California we are here to serve you if you need any service or repairs, call our number on the screen and we'll be happy to help you with uh, any kind of repair or sharpening. Thank you.